guys so today we're going to learn how to play shape of my heart by sting so let's get started so the song starts with an f sharp minor chord which is played like this tabs are on the screen so i'll tell you the picking pattern for the right hand you start by picking the second string and then the fifth string and the third string so and you end with the second string so it's like this The next chord is a C sharp minor over E which is played like this. This time you play the the bass note first which is on the 5th string and then you do what you did before. So you have the 5th string, you pick the 5th uh, string and then the 2nd string and then the 5th, 3rd and 2nd. So And then you have the same chord, uh, but it's like two frets below, so it's this. This is a B minor over D. So, so far we have... The next chord that we have is a C sharp 7 sus 4, which is played like this. So it's again it's the fifth and the second string. So fifth, second, and then fifth again. Then you have this movement which changes that chord, the C sharp seven sus four, into a C C sharp seven chord. So you have this. So, so now we have So the next part is almost the same as the last part that we played, but that first chord changes. So that F sharp minor chord that we played, this one, changes into this. So now we have... So all together we have this now. So the next chord is this chord, which is the D major 6 chord. So the picking pattern is the 5th string, the 3rd string, the 2nd string and the 3rd string. And then we have the 1st string, 2nd string and 3rd string. So. The next chord that we have uh, is kind of like an A sus2 idea, which is played like this, where uh, there's a hammer on from the second to the fourth fret. So you should be getting that, and the right hand plays the the sixth string, the second string, and the third string. So it's like uh, you have to plug them together like that. So. Lift that up and then so so the next chord is a C sharp major chord which is played like this so again only the fifth fourth and second strings like that and then you just slide this up to get the next chord which is this. So we have So after this we have that G sharp minor 11 chord which is just played with uh, it's it's just one strum with the thumb like this and then it ends with an F sharp minor chord so So from the C sharp major chord we have So, so far you have
Okay, so for for the most part in this song, this entire section is repeated a number of times, but there's a bridge section where there's a harmonica solo. So there, um, the song changes keys and gets transposed into another key, where the the same kind of progression is played down a fourth in a different key, in the key of C sharp minor. So the transition, when you make the transition from this part into the bridge, you you have to start strumming. This is the way Dominic Miller plays it. So when you reach the last repetition before the bridge, uh, at the very last part you have to start strumming. It kind of sounds like this. So you have to start strumming on the G sharp minor 11 chord, which is like this. So there's this new new chord that's added in this section. So basically you play the G sharp minor 11 and then you play the F sharp minor chord. So And then you add this chord, which is an A chord, but it has a C on the bass and you have the E string uh, open. So you have so you have the changes like that. So then you have the D chord which you have to play with the strumming. So that. So it's not like a regular D chord like that. That that note in between on the G string uh, on the third string is muted. So it's muted with the index finger. It's played like this. So. We're only playing these three notes, not the one in between, not this one. So, so now you have that G sharp minor 11 for two bars. So this entire section is So then the song changes keys and goes into a new key, which is this one. So it's kind of the same set of chords, but played in a different key. So now we have the C sharp minor section, which sounds like this. So the C sharp minor looks like this, and then the next chord, and then we have this. So so far we have. And then same as before, you change one note to that first chord, so now it becomes this, an A major over C sharp, so, so now we have So the next chord that we have is an A major 6, which is like this, so it's played like this. So you have the 6th, 4th, 3rd, 4th, and then the 2nd. Here I'm picking the 6th, 4th, 2nd and 3rd, so... And then you have the G sharp 7. Then you slide this up. 
next chord. Then you play a C sharp minor. And then a C sharp minor 7. So again you have to start strumming towards the end of this section. So it's kind of like this. So you start strumming from that D-sharp 7 sus4 chord which is like C-sharp minor and then C-sharp minor 7 and then there's a repeat where it goes back to A so strum it once and then you can end with this chord which is an A major add 9 and then the song continues so it goes back to the previous part where it again goes back to so on and so forth so that's the whole song thanks for watching i hope you guys really enjoyed it uh, if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments below i'll see you in the next video